Okay, I'm going to keep going with some Southern California rap albums. Any disclaimers here? Uh, I don't like showing albums. I've shown in other videos more than once. So I've already made videos discussing Mac 10, MC8, Ice T, and then I've already looked at many West Coast soundtracks, compilations. I've already gone over that stuff. So I was looking at my LA rap albums and I actually have quite a few. I probably have like a hundred more to, to check out. And most of them are pretty good. So it's probably like 10 volumes of this. So I will start with YG. This is My Crazy Life. This came out in 2014. And I believe this is YG's debut major label album. Who's on here? Ty Dolla Sign, Rich Homie Kwan, Meek Mill, uh, DJ Mustard, Drake, Tory Lanez. I remember I first got into YG when I was visiting a friend in LA and somewhere along the way I heard this song, I think it's called You Broke. It was with Nipsey Hussle and YG. And I was unfamiliar with both of them. It was when they first started kind of making a name for themselves. And I thought that song was amazing. So I kind of started listening to some YG. This CD was solid, but I kind of fell off with him. He's put out like three more uh, full of albums after that. And he's probably got to be one of the bigger names on the West Coast these days. MC Ren, Ruthless for Life. This came out 1998, Ruthless Records. So if you didn't know, MC Ren is one of the uh, members from NWA back in the time. And this is a pretty good CD. My favorite ones on here are Voyage to Compton, The Opener, Ruthless for Life, and uh, the second song with 8-Ball and MJG. MC Ren's definitely underrated. Definitely the most under, or, uh, most least known rapper in NWA, but I also think he had one of the best rapping styles. Again, very underrated. And this is on uh, Rufus Records after EZ died. Executive producer, Tamika Wright, EZ's wife. Forgot about her. She took over the Rufus Records operation once EZ died. Tash, Rap Life. This came out in 1999 on Loud Records. Tash was part of a group called The Alcoholics. And I actually don't know a lot about them. I know the name, but I never really listened to a lot of them. But I think they were from the LA area. Who's on here? Corrupt. Be Real, Ice-T, Exhibit, Rayquan. And uh, it says Big Boy and Dre. Is that, do they mean Outkast? I'm not sure. But um, I haven't listened to this one in a while. Here's a good one. Nate Dogg, Music and Me. This came out in 2001 on Elektra. And my last video, I looked at that double album by Nate Dogg. It's older material, and I don't think uh, it was released on a high profile. But this was a major label release. This when Nate Dogg was having you know more high profile guest appearances, just kind of all over the hip hop map, not just with the, the Death Row, Dog Pound uh, acts. But my favorite songs on here are probably Keep It Gangsta with Lil Mo and Exhibit, Your Woman Has Just Been Sighted with Jermaine Dupri, and uh, music in me that that's a that's a beautiful song it really is and yeah you know i found this a little disappointing upon release i was waiting so long for this to come out but time has been kind to it it's a classy great r b slash rap album dj quick safe and sound this came out 1995 on Profile Records. And this is regarded as one of DJ Quick's classic albums. But I don't really put this one on that much. But again, uh, 
DJ Quick, one of the most underrated rap artists of all time. Uh, his beats are amongst the best, and he's, he's a great rapper too. He's had a bit of success, but again, very underrated. Ice Cube, Kill At Will. This is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is an eight song EP that came out in 1990 on Priority. And this was released after his first or his second debut solo albums, which were America's uh, Most Wanted and uh, Death Certificate, which I'll get to later. I haven't listened to this one in 20 years, I don't think. I don't have much to say about it. But Ice Cube, what, what can you say, right? Okay, Mac and Devin go to high school. Snoop Dogg and Wiz Khalifa. Wiz Khalifa is not from the West Coast. He's from Pittsburgh. And he's also not a rapper I'm really into. But they put out uh, a movie together, and I never saw it. But 2011, Atlantic Recordings. This is an album of original material for the movie. Let's Go Study, that's my favorite song on here. Daz, you know what I'm throwing up. This is a double album. Gangsta Advisory Recordings, 2003. I've always been a big Daz fan. What's my favorite one on here? I Got That Fire with Snoop and E. White. Another double album by uh, his partner in the Dog Pound, Corrupt. This is Corruption, his debut full length album. And it's a double one, as I just mentioned. Now the cool thing about this CD is that Corrupt is born and bred in Philadelphia, but he moved to uh, the LA area in his late teens, I believe. I don't know if I was to rap with his family or whatever, but my point is, is that there is one disc of West Coast material and one disc of East Coast style material. And the one that jumps out to me is what I believe was the single We Can Freak It on the West Coast disc. This came out on Antra and AM in 1998. And the last one's kind of cheating, but I already made a video looking at my uh, Ice T CDs. And I forgot to look at the body count stuff, so body count's not rap. But I'm going to put the body count albums in as I go. This is the debut album. I was a big fan of Body Count when I first discovered them back in the 90s. Not so much my thing anymore, but as I look back in history, this was the, the best album by them. I like Freedom of Speech. Bowels of the Devil kind of reminds me of uh, Venom for some reason. And uh, there goes the neighborhood, classic song. And the winner loses. Lots of good ones on here. That's it. See you on the third one.